What's up guys, Bodhi here. Have you ever thought, what apps is this Shopify store using? Like, what apps are they using and they're having so much success? I would love to know so I could use them for my store. And not so much copy them, but model off that. It might be someone in the similar niche. And you're just wondering, okay, what email campaign are they, uh, what email app are they using? Um, what sort of upsells are they using? How can I make my uh, store so much better? So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how you can see exactly what Shopify apps each store is using. Okay guys, so we're gonna go with uh, some outdoor sort of Shopify stores today. So the outdoor niche, very popular niche. And I've got about, what have I got here? One, two, three different popular outdoor niche uh, Shopify stores that are very successful. I had actually heard of this one, Cedar Summit, and it turns out that it's actually an Australian company. So that's really cool. They've got uh, 38,000 likes on Facebook and they're from Perth in Western Australia. So there you go. I've heard about them, but I didn't know they were Australian. So very interesting. Now, what we want to know is when we, so I have their website pulled up here and it's a very nice looking website. So if you're in the outdoor niche, this is going to be very handy for you. You're going to be like, okay, what sort of apps are a big store and other big stores using for this sort of stuff? So let's just copy this. And then what I've got pulled up for you, how you can find this is what's called uh, whatstoreapp.com. So just go and find that on Google. <clears throat> what store app. And that'll bring it up right there. So you can check that out. And then you just paste it in there and hit search. So this will do um, all Shopify stores. If it's not a Shopify store, it'll come up and tell you. So this is interesting. They actually only use MailChimp. So there you go. They're only using email marketing. That's the only app that they're using or the only app that this thing's picking up on anyway. So that's, that's not real um, informative for us. So let's try another one because I did pull up the other one before this one, which had a lot of stores. So this is um, United by Blue, which is another outdoor sort of store. Um, we can quickly go through these stores and check them out in a minute, but I just want to show you how this works first and then maybe dive into some of the apps. So as you can see, United by Blue, on the other hand, is actually using a lot of apps. Uh, they've got push out, they've got uh, discounted pricing, so um, running discounts. They've got free pop-ups and conversion marketing platform with Just Juno. They've got upsell bundles, so they're rocking uh, the upsells, find a fire search, recommendations and collections, book that app, add booking functionality to your store, plenty for classes, appointments, rentals and events. That's, that's a cool one. Um, I, don't, I can't say I've seen that before. And then they've got Swell, which is rewards and referrals by Swell. Dramatically increase revenue with our loyalty program, which rewards your customers for repeat purchases, referrals, and more. So they've got um, a few that start out from $0 a month. And they're probably just using like those for that. But you, some of these do actually cost money depending on how much you're using them. So let's just have a look at uh, this one just to show you guys what this is about. So this will take us to the app store. Now, once you start looking at apps, you wanna be looking at the reviews and then obviously you wanna know, excuse me, obviously you wanna know um, how much they're gonna cost you a month and whether they're worth it. So these app stores are very informative and the reviews, like people can be very brutally honest with reviews on the internet at the best of times. So go through the reviews and check them out. Um, so discounts you know will obviously get you some more sales sell more with volume discount discount of pricing with no code uh, no coding and then they've got a full description here example customer buys two or more of a certain product they get a five percent discount so um yeah pretty cool pretty cool um just wanted to show you guys that one but let's go to this last one which is actually um rock and run which is a uh, rock climbing brand so definitely outdoor sort of niche and as you can see a very nice Shopify store as well this is a very successful Shopify store um, they have quite a big following as well so let's just copy them and have a look what they're running so I haven't searched this one up yet I'd only looked at the United by Blue 
And so, yeah, they're not running many either as well. So MailChimp is obviously a common one. Um, <clears throat> Stamped.io, which one's this? Uh, product reviews add-on, a add-on. Shopify's product review app, create photo review, product review. Yeah, so reviews, you know, social proof, which is reviews, is very powerful and gets a lot of people on board. Um, interested in buying and checking out and feel, feeling like it's a safe website. Uh, what have we got here? Boost sales by inviting your customers to sign up for an email and SMS alerts sent when their items are back in stock, supports variants. So interesting. Let's look at this one though, because I've never actually dived into this one. Stamp.io. I have heard of it though. Um, that's got a lot of reviews and obviously positive. So this is obviously a very, very popular um, niche. I mean app, sorry. I'm just in the rock climbing niche. Collect reviews easily. Collect product videos, site review, photo reviews, Q&A, Instagram, checkout reviews easily to increase social proof. There you go, just like I was saying, which leads to conversions. So just to dive in more on that, when you see things like this, um, this review here, when people give those good reviews, it definitely, like when they have them on their website, it definitely does create a lot more trust of the website and obviously, um, that seeing someone else has bought it and enjoys it, people are gonna be more likely to buy it off you. So social proof is huge. You'll see that all big brands use social proof. Um, yeah, there's nothing better than a good customer testimonial. It's the honestly the best thing for the business. So um, what do we got up here? Product reviews, photo reviews and video reviews, Instagram shoppable gallery. So that's really cool. Community questions and answers. Checkout reviews, net promoter score, review sources, import and collect reviews from Facebook, Facebook Messenger, AliExpress, Etsy, Amazon, and Clavio. So that can be really handy because you can actually import um, AliExpress reviews from people. So you could use uh, positive reviews from AliExpress from similar watches that are sold if, if you were going to sell watches like it's got here. So yeah, really interesting guys. So anyway, back to the point of this, I just wanted to show you guys, um, it's called whatstoreapp.com. It's completely free and you can come up here and just enter any sort of Shopify store and be able to see what they're using. And then you can do what I've done just there and dive into um, checking out what the, you know, what the apps are actually all about and whether they're gonna be good for your store. And also the other thing is when you know that they've got MailChimp for instance, so their email marketing campaign, you can dive into their email marketing campaign and see how they're running MailChimp, like see what sort of emails you get, how often you get them, etc. Like if you bail out of carts, whether that you get um, emailed and stuff like that. So abandoned checkout. So very interesting. So whatstoreapp.com for you guys to check that out and see anyone's apps on any Shopify store. So thanks for watching guys. Please give the video a like. Make sure you comment below any questions and make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.